Movie begins in the futuristic city of Lagos, Nigeria. The city of Lagos is broken into two parts, the mainland where the working class struggles to make ends means and the island where the rich flourish. However, there's a spot of bother as many islander children are getting kidnapped and their rich parents have no other option but to pay a lot of money as ransom. We are introduced to a girl called Tola and her father Tunde. He seems to be very worried because of the kidnapping news he has been hearing. Although he's figuring out a way to protect his daughter, especially when he's not with her. Tola father, who's a scientist, made robots that helps her dress and do house chores since he's a very busy man and doesn't seem to have a wife. However, we were made to know that today is her birthday, so Tola prepares snacks to throw a party. The scene then switches and we are then introduced to a man who just got employed by Tola's father as a driver. He goes to test the new car his boss just bought and he was surprised that the car was more advanced than the ones from the city. Uncle G plans to go to the airport to pick up his boss, Tunde, but Tola begs him to take her along so she can welcome her father at the airport. He refuses at first but later gave an after her cute little face when she begs. On their way, they met the Lago's usual traffic, but that is not a problem for Uncle Ju puts his boss car into fly mode to reach the airport early. At the airport, we see a kidnapper called Aga Bogde has an advanced glasses on, more advanced than the Apple Vision Pro. The glasses were meant to scan the net worths of the travelers, but when he tries scanning Tola's father, the information seems to be censored. This made Aga Bogde more interested in him. Tunde get informed about another child been kidnapped, making him more worried as Afola comes out from the crowd and hugs her dad whom she hasn't seen in a long time, but he scolds her instead for walking around the airport all by her own. He takes her outside where they come across some beggars, but behind them is Aga Bode, who begins following their every moves with his gang. Tunde scolds Uncle G for allowing Tola to walk off alone, in which he apologizes for and then gives Tun the agagade bread he had ordered him to buy which the man and his daughter enjoys. They hear another news on the radio of another kidnapping, with the kidnapper demanding $1 million from the parent for the release of their child. Tola gives her dad the snack she has prepared for him, but it seems he has forgotten her birthday, as he told her he has some work to do. She meets her friend Cola, who is so curious to, to know how her father is planning her birthday, but sadly it's the other way around. Later that evening, Tun seems to be frustrated due to his failure in activating the powers of his robot lizard, which he has been experimenting for his investor. His investor isn't impressed by the progress so far, and she suggests to him to give the lizard to his daughter, believing that whenever Tola is in danger, the powers which they experimented on the robot lizard might automatically come. He gives Tola the lizard, who he names Oten, saying it's her birthday present, and he promises to take her wherever she wants to go as long as she takes care of the lizard. Well, Tola is pissed that among all the pet her father could think of it's a lizard he brought for her, but since taking care of it will help her get closer to her dad, she is ready to do so. In episode 2, we are then taken to a flashback, where we see Aga Bode and his mom being thrown out from a house that belongs to a wealthy family, all because he stole some changes. His mom, who works as a housemaid for the wealthy family, begs on behalf of her son, but her boss mind was already made up. His mom gets more furious after realizing her son used the money, just to get a golden necklace. Instead of being remorseful, he complains about the kind of clothes they wear, unlike what their boss and kids wear, saying they too deserve some respect. This family is so rich, but still pays them peanut, which they can hardly feed themselves with. We are then taken back to the present. Other Bode, who has now grown up to be a kidnapper, is met by his assistant, Happiness, who informs him that they collected the money, a ransom paid by the parent whose child he just kidnapped. As soon as he shares the money with his gang, he orders Happiness to return the child back to his parent and prepares himself to kidnap another child. Tola dances with Cole and then invites him over to dinner. Tunde, seeing this, became so angry because the boy is just his cleaner and warns him never to come close to his daughter again, although Tola was against this. On the other hand, Aga Bode finds out that the father of the next child he is about to kidnap is the CEO of the only security company in Nigeria called Tunde who uses blockchain and high technologies to eradicate crimes within the country. He wants to kidnap Tunde's daughter because the information stored in his company database is worth billions but happiness doesn't seem okay with the kidnapping of the CEO of security daughter. Meanwhile, Cole goes to a public transport but changes his mind after the driver demands twice the normal payment only for him to squeeze himself inside the bus. While he walks back home alone on the streets, he receives a call from Aga Bode which scares him. We are then taken to a flashback where Cole is having lunch with his mother at a restaurant. He promises her to finish school and become a doctor so he can buy her the gold slippers and a car she has always dreamed of. Just then, happiness suddenly shows up at the restaurant, stating that her boss wants to see them. 
They are brought into Aga Bode Chambers, where he serves them his favorite drinks, Zobo. He told Cole to come work for him, but his mother refuses, because having a work will only distract him when his studies. Aga Bode laughs because he knows studies will not allow the boy to provide for his mother. He gives them some money, saying when the time comes, he is going to need their help. Back to the present, Cole takes care of his mother, who is badly sick. He goes to meet Aga Bode, who asks to see him. Aga Bode orders him to bring Tola to him in exchange for the money he has been giving to him and his mother, and also promises to handle his mom's medical bills, if he does as he is told, but if he doesn't, he must have to return all the money he has given to them so far at the end of the month which they can't possibly get. Tola lies to Uncle G about getting permission from her father to explore around the main city of Lagos. Cole takes her to the market in Lagos, which she is so fascinated about he teaches her how to buy things there. They eat the local meals which Tola enjoys so much. Tola spots some hungry children on the streets and gives them her food and water. While she crosses a bridge with Cole, a man comes out from nowhere and says to Cole that this isn't where they agreed to meet. He is one of Aga Bode henchmen who tries to kidnap Tola but Cole tells her to run. While he fights the man, the robot lizard who senses Tola danger hurries to go protect her, but unfortunately, its battery runs down. Tunde gets alerted by this and suddenly realizes that his daughter left the house without his permission. We are then taken to another flashback, but this time it's just about Tunde. He was once a street poor boy who lives in a local town called the Ajigono. After buying bread from Kiyoma, he checks his phone only to realize he is late for the interview, but getting there as fast as possible won't be a problem, as he puts a mechanism in his legs that helps him run faster. He arrives at the Greenland Tech Company to meet the CEO, stating that reasons on why he deserves the job. This is a company that uses technology to change the world. As soon as Tun brought out his self-made gadgets, the CEO is impressed and gives him the job. Back to the present. Tun Day uses his computer to find his daughter, just for him to discover that she has been kidnapped by Aga Bode. He then appears to him in form of a robotic mask and tells him to pay $50 million for his daughter release unless he will not see her again. The time given to him is just two hours. Happiness takes Tola to Aga Bode, who is shocked on the respect the girl gives to him, because it is not something you find in a girl from a rich family. Meanwhile, Cole finds Uncle G to inform him about the bad news. He regrets ever trusting them, knowing he's at risk on losing his job. He sets out to find Tola, but Cole begs him that he needs his help first to save his mother from Aga Bode. While Tunde goes on his own to find Tola, he meets a friend who was in a police force to help him find his daughter but he refuses to help him after he has forgotten about them since 30 years of becoming rich and he also broke his promise on using his technology to change his local town. Tunde, with no choice left, decides to take the money he was asked to pay for his daughter released to the instructed location by the kidnapper. Aga Bode, in disguise on a robot mask, appears to be aware that Tola Dad meeting a police beforehand, thereby breaking his number one rule. He increases the money from 50 million to 250 million, making Tun very mad. He finds the location of his robot lizard and heads there immediately. Cole is in hiding from Aga Bode, henchman who is searching for him, the henchman called Sunday. He finds and tries to capture him, but an unknown force hits him from behind. It is the robotic lizard who comes to his aid, and to our surprise, the lizard can actually talk. It asks Cole about the location of Tola, but he has no idea. As soon as the henchman wakes up from unconsciousness, Odin the lizard chases after him to get her location. He escapes with a taxi not knowing Otten also got inside the car to follow him. Tunde finds Cole on the streets who apologize for his daughter kidnapped. Being his fault, he reveals the identity of the kidnapper Aga Bode and tells Tunde everything he needs to know about the capture as they go search for Tola. Meanwhile, Cole's mom is taken to Tunde house by Uncle G where she's been taken care of. Sunday meets Aga Bode who appears to be curious to know what caused the bruises on his face. Sunday explains he already captured Cole when a strange robot lizard comes out from nowhere and attacked him. Onan appears to have followed Sunday to Aga Bode hideout and finds Tola in the room where she is locked in. She is also shocked after realizing that the lizard her father presented to her as a talking robot who was assigned to protect her. Tunde tracks down the lizard's whereabouts and according to Cole this was the hideout of Aga Bode. Tunde sends a voice note to Aga Bode and asks him to release his daughter, or he will release the voice note worldwide. While he talks to Tunde on the phone, he orders Happiness to track down Tunde's location using his phone signal. He found his location and captures him with cold just as Tunde is tied up on the chair. Aga Bode requests that he will only let him and his daughter go if he hands over his to him and give him a list of all his clients, and their net worths most specially. He wants his name cleared out from the police system. Tunde replies that he can't do all these with a random computer. 
So they all set out Tun House to use his own computer. From a camera at Tunde House, Uncle G sees Aga Bode and his gang entering the house and quickly goes into hiding with Cole's mom. As soon as Aga Bode gets into Tunde Mansion, he is so fascinated on how big it is and causes him for enjoying life while he left his homies in the streets to suffer. Cole and Tola are placed inside room with two henchmen guarding the place. However, to save themselves, Cole thinks of a way to charge the robot lizard so he will get it to fighting mode to take down all the Bode gangs. Firstly, they need to find a charging port, just something the lizard can draw electricity from. But for them to do so, they must have to find a way to get to Tunde Room. Strategically, Tola begins to cry to lure the henchmen away from their posts, while Cole can escape from the room to find the main power supply in the house. The henchman takes Tola to her father who is doing everything the boss tells him to do in order to save his beloved daughter. Tola uses the opportunity to take the charging port, but the only problem for her now is she can't leave. As some henchman plays with Tunde gadgets in his house, Uncle G sets a trap in Tunde car and it worked. They successfully lock down at least three of Aga Bode henchmen and goes inside the mansion. Tola asks that she wants to go to the toilet, an excuse for her to get out with the charging port to find Cole. Meanwhile, Sunday catches Cole during his escape, but Tola comes to his rescue. Cole pours ice on on the floor, causing Sunday to slip to the floor, which knocks him out. Tola quickly gives Cole the charging port, which he places the robotic lizard on it. Not just the charging port, but the lizard also sucks power from other electrical items. But fortunately, the lizard battery is now full. It shows up to protect Tola, which leads to happiness. A tech expert to finally show what she's capable of. The lizard finally goes into fighting mode and engages in a really epic battle with happiness. When the other henchman comes to assist her, the lizard tells Tola to run away and find her father. Tola finds her father who was getting the beating of his life by Aga Bode. He says something about how the rich are wicked, and he claims to deserve the money he earns from the children kidnaps, but without his knowledge, Tola already broadcasted his face and everything he was saying to the world. Aga Bode tries to escape abandoning his gang, but the robot lizard blocks him from the front. Happiness and his gang decided not to protect him anymore for being selfish. In the end, the lizard captures him and Tunde handed him to the police. Immediately, Cole reunites with his proud mother while Tunde apologies to Tola for underestimating her. Tunde decides to sponsor Cole in school so he can achieve his dreams of being a doctor 